the .22 Winchester Magnum rimfire, more commonly called .22 WMR, .22 Magnum, or simply .22 Mag, is a rimfire cartridge. Originally loaded with a bullet weight of 40 grains delivering velocities in the 2,000 feet per second range from a rifle barrel, .22 WMR has also been loaded with bullet weights of 50 grains at 1,750 feet per second and 30 grains at 2,250 feet per second. More recently, a high-quality 30 grains VMAX cartridge from Hornady has been released. This exceeds 2200 FPS in a rifle and has a reputation for much greater consistency and accuracy than was previously attributed to this caliber. Accuracy around 1 MOA is achievable and this has led to this cartridge regaining ground previously lost to the excellent .17 HMR, especially as the 30 grains bullet weight gives it a reputation for hitting harder on larger varmints such as fox and coyote. History the .22 WMR was introduced in 1959 by Winchester, but was not used by Winchester until the Winchester Model 61 slide rifle could be chambered for it, in 1960. By that time, Smith & Wesson and Rugger had revolvers for it, and Savage had come out with the Model 24 and since late 2012, the Model 42, a more modern update than the 24, a .22-.410 rifle. It was the only successful rimfire cartridge introduced in the 20th century. Dimensions and loading, the .22 WMR uses a larger case than the more popular .22 long rifle, both in diameter and length. The .22 WMR case is a lengthened version of the older .22 WRF. The .22 WMR's case is thicker than that of the .22 LR, allowing higher pressures. The combination of more powder and higher pressures gives velocities over 2,000 feet per second from a rifle using a 30-grain bullet, and 1,500 feet per second from a handgun. A .22 WMR round will not fit into the chamber of a .22 LR firearm, but it is possible, though unsafe, to chamber .22 LR rounds in a .22 WMR firearm. Doing so can result in injury from a leaking undersized case. Uses, since the .22 WMR generally uses the same weight bullets as the .22 long rifle, it is used in similar situations. The 40 grain .22 WMR at 100 yards retains the same velocity as a .22 LR at the muzzle, which can provide improved penetration at all ranges and more reliable expansion at longer ranges with expanding bullets. If sighted in for maximum point-blank range on a 3-inch high target, the 40 grain .22 WMR can reach ranges of nearly 125 yards. This makes the .22 WMR an effective short to medium range varmint rifle cartridge. The relatively quiet report and negligible recoil also make it a very pleasant round to shoot for extended periods. The .22 WMR can take down small games such as rabbits, groundhogs, prairie dogs, foxes, raccoons, and even coyotes at close range. Firearms using .22 WMR, it first appeared in the Savage Model 24 combination rifle, followed by Winchester's own Model 61 pump-action rifle. A number of single shots and repeaters were offered in .22 WMR. The .22 WMR operates at pressures beyond what normal blowback actions typically handle but the self-loading Jefferson Model 159 was introduced for the cartridge. Until the 1990s, most .22 WMR firearms were bolt-action rifles. In 1977-1985 Harrington and Richardson made the first American-made semi-automatic .22 WMR. In the 1990s semi-automatic .22 WMR rifles were also introduced by Sturmrugger and Marlin and are currently produced by Remington and Tanfurlio Appeal Rifle as well as the Excel Arms Accelerator Rilfel. Revolvers in .22 WMR are made by Smith & Wesson, Taurus, North American Arms, Heritage Arms, and Sturmrugger. Semi-automatic pistols for this cartridge are produced by Keltec, Grendel and AMT, the latter two now defunct. The Grendel AMT and Keltec designs used specially designed chambers with flutes or gas ports, designed to lubricate the long, thin cartridge with gases from the chamber, 
overcoming the plish effect and allowing easy extraction of the cartridge. High Standard produced various models and versions of their classic two-shot over under Derringer in both .22WMR and .22LR. The Argentine EDDA submachine gun uses the .22WMR round. Ammunition The .22WMR is an enlarged, more powerful version of the much earlier .22WRF. Despite frequent claims to the contrary, it should not be used in any firearm except those specifically chambered for .22 WMR. Even firearms chambered for the .22 WRF are not suitable. For one thing, the case lengths are different, and the fact that the cartridge fits into the chamber does not guarantee that using the wrong cartridge is either safe or effective. The .22 WMR was for a time the most powerful rimfire round available. It even outperformed the .22 WCF. Though the .22 WMR is more powerful than the .22 long rifle, .22 WMR ammunition is not manufactured in as large a variety as .22 LR. It also is not as widely available in retail stores. Although .22 WMR ammunition is not necessarily hard to find, nearly every ammunition retailer stocks .22 LR whereas many do not stock .22 WMR. Furthermore .22 WMR is so much more expensive than almost all .22 LR that its price becomes a significant consideration where large volumes of ammunition are consumed. Because many of the rifles that are chambered for the .22 WMR have tubular magazines, the bullet nose is generally a flat or at least blunt to allow smooth feeding and reduce damage to the bullet. Although a pointed bullet in a rimfire cartridge will not contact the primer of the round in front of it, the manufacturer's stamp is in the middle of the base of a rimfire cartridge, and this may interfere with pointed metal bullets in a tube. However, Remington, CCI, and Holnady now produce bullet designs with 30 or 33 grain polymer plastic ballistic tips that reduce the hazards of pointed ammunition in tubular magazines. Bullets for the .22 WMR are generally unlubricated lead with heavy copper plating, in either solid nose or hollow point style designed for small game hunting or pest control. The limited selection of commercial ammunition for the .22 WMR has inspired specialist wildcatters to select the .22 WMR case for handloading high-performance rimfire ammunition. Generally they would load the wildcat cartridges with pointed bullets for the aerodynamic advantages, using the same bullets as those in .22 caliber centerfire cartridges. Though such bullets are generally heavier than standard .22 WMR bullets, the sharp nose and tapered tail can serve energy better, delivering greater impact at longer ranges. Other wildcatters neck the .22 WMR down to smaller calibers, such as .20 and .17 or even smaller, in an attempt to get maximum velocity in the flattest possible trajectory. An example of such an experimental design is the Swedish 4.5A, 26mm MKR. See also, 5mm caliber, list of handgun cartridges, list of rifle cartridges, list of rimfire cartridges, table of handgun and rifle cartridges, references. Barnes, Frank C., ed. by John T. Amber. .22 Winchester Magnum Rimfire, in Cartridges of the World. PPA 275. Northfield, Illinois, DBI Books, 1972. ISBN 978-0-695-80326-1. Cartridges of the World 11th Edition, book by Frank C. Barnes, edited by Stan Skinner, Gun Digest Books, 2006. ISBN 978-0-89689-297-2 PA479, external links, Chuck Hawks page on the .22 WMR, Chuck Hawks on .22 WMR ammunition selection, the .22 WMR Today, Guns Magazine, June, 2001 by C. Rodney James, 3.22 WMR loads from Remington, Handguns Magazine, by Phil W. Johnston, Reloading. Techniques, .22 Win. Magnum Rimfire, Performance Shooter, April 1996.